Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Sorry about that. Give me one second, y'all. Give me one second, y'all. What is with this thing? All right, forget about it. We'll just go without the light today. It's all good. All right, um, let's get into today's fight. Uh, we're going to uh, break down the MJ Akhmedaliev fight. Uh, versus Kevin Gonzalez, which I actually think it's a really interesting fight. Uh, but let me, uh, but before we do that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, uh, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money uh, betting on the sport of boxing. Um, let's also, uh, uh, having trouble today, man. Uh, um, we don't gamble, uh, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to make it a second stream of income uh, betting on boxing. Uh, I use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings in Texas. I'm saying I don't gamble, uh, but if you do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to make that money. Um, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. I will be at the Bam Rodriguez fight, and I will try to go live afterwards. I did not go live after the Regis Pro Gray fight because the internet was so bad, it just wasn't going to work. Uh, but uh, hopefully this is better, and I will try to go live. We'll do an immediate reaction. We got a lot of fights this week. Uh, there we go. Got a lot of fights this week that we're going to try to go live uh, afterwards, but uh, we'll see how it all goes. Um, all right. Let's get into today's fight. Let's get into uh, today's card. This is a really good fight, and... Uh, a lot of you guys might not be overly familiar with Gonzalez. Uh, you know, the odds say he has no chance, really. Um, he's a really good uh, – Kevin Gonzalez is a really good offensive fighter. He's got a record of 26-0-1. Uh, he had a draw really early in his career uh, back in 2018 um, in, in a fight not even worth mentioning. Um, majority draw. Uh, he's a southpaw. From Culiacan, Mexico, uh, 5'4", 66 inch reach southpaw, good inside fighter. Uh, he can also use the ring though, like he's a little sneakishly athletic, right? Like he is what he is, and he likes to come forward, he likes to bang, and he likes to be on the inside. But he's he's athletic. Uh, he's got one major downfall. He does not move his head at all, right? So that's going to be an issue. That's going to consistently be a reoccurring issue. He does not move his head. All right? His head is stationary. A guy like MJ, I think he's eventually going to get tagged, but I think he might do good work um, before he does. He's got a good chin, too. Um, good athlete, good volume, really good timing. Um, like I said, pretty athletic. He's just you know too easy to hit on the inside. He doesn't move his head. He moves his feet better than he moves his head. Uh, he seems to slow down as the fight goes on. Again, I think he's going to do well. And, I, I, you know, I think MJ is overrated and uh, Gonzalez is underrated, but I still don't think it's going to be enough, right? I, 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 looking at the odds, I so want to pick Gonzalez. I just really can't see him winning. I think he makes it competitive. I think he scores. I think he hits MJ a lot. I just can't see him winning this fight. Um, he can grind on the inside and he can move on the outside. He changes pace well. Um, good, good overall offensive fighter. I mean, if you watch him offensively, you're gonna like him. He's good. Um, he's got a, he's got decent power. I would say. I wouldn't say it's 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 good. You know, he's not a big hitter, but he's got decent pop. We saw his last two fights on PBC cards. Uh, he won UD tens over uh, Emmanuel Rivera Nieves. Uh, that was at the Punch Bowl, and then back in March. Uh, he beat Jose San Martin, uh, and uh, that was on the undercard of Benavides Plant. That was on the uh, you know the Showtime uh, website um, before the the, the pay per view card. Uh, so if you got to look at him twice, there's not a ton else on uh, out there to really study. But he's a good offensive fighter. He's southpaw, he can switch it, but he good offensive fighter. A little seems like a little bit decent pop, good chin. Um, good move, good combinations on the inside. Um, but like I said, his flaw is he's never really been in. You know, the best guy he's ever been in with is 
probably Emmanuel Rivera Nieves, Puerto Rican fighter, 19-3. Um, lost to Nate Green uh, on, um, on an ESPN card. Um, and that's really, you know, all he has of, of note. Um That's the best guy he's been in with. Um, I, I wish there was more tape on him against better fighters. He just doesn't exist because it, it, it's not out there. Uh, but he looks good. Again, I can't see him winning even though I think MJ is flawed. Like MJ is, is, is a big hitter. He's athletic. Uh, he's quick. He's elusive, right? But he's so flawed. Like He, he throws wide. He leaves himself over to be countered. Um, you know, in the Tapala's fight, he sure has volume drop. He can get out jabbed. He can be out boxed. Um, he needs to throw in combination, right? Like he loads up so much on on one wide shot. I want to see him throw in combination. Uh, you know, like the Tapala's fight, and Tapala's is a flawed fighter too. And the Tapala's fight showed a lot of his warts, right? Like uh, I, I thought the Roman fight did too, but you know that was like three or almost four years ago at this point. I think he's obviously gotten a lot better. At this point, um, but uh, I think he's, he's gotten a lot better, uh, I guess. But he struggled with Roman, and Roman got destroyed by Stephen Fulton. So you see what happens when Roman fights the best fighters in the world; he gets destroyed. Um, he, like I said, he leaves himself wide open. But he can really hit, and he can throw from a barrage of angles. So I think eventually he's going to crack him, and he's going to get Gonzalez out, although he might not be doing great when he does. I really, I, I think he's going to win by knockout. We're going to pull up the odds right now. Uh, on the odds, it's not a lot to choose from. I'm, I'm going to show you guys right now what we're looking at. Uh, uh, uh. I, I wish there were more props on this. There's not. Um, this is just a money line. And the money line is minus 450. I told you guys, if I would really fit in a, um, you know, and the over, even the over under on this would be tough because, you know, both guys can really take a shot. Uh, and they're going to eat some shots. So it's could end a knockout. It could go the distance. It's a hard fight to bet. Um, I, again, I'm pretty confident. I would make this a two times bet. A $200 bet is going to make it 44 44. Minus 450, these odds are getting worse. People are, I guess, loading up on uh, Ahmad Daliev. Um, only David Diamante can say that right. He, he kills us. Uh, um, but that's it. I mean, that's the bet. You know, uh, Kevin Gonzalez, I like him a lot, and he's not going to win. He's better than he looks. Like, he's, he's better. He's not. He, and this is WBA title eliminator. So if he wins, he's going to be fighting. Um, Anyway, or Tapales, right? Whoever wins that unification fight is WBA eliminator. Um, I, I really don't, don't see how Akhmadaliev doesn't win, although I think Kevin Gonzalez is is is, is a good fighter. Um, and I think Akhmadaliev is flawed and he can be hit. He's just – Kevin Gonzalez is flawed too, and his flaws play right into MJ's hands. And I think – you know, it's, it's, it's a fun fight. Uh, Gonzalez is competitive, and I think there are guys out there at the elite level that Gonzalez might could beat. MJ is not one of them. And it's not because I think MJ, I'm not on the MJ hype train or anything like that. It's just his flaws play into MJ's hands. Right? I'm looking at this fight, and I'm watching him and studying two of his fights. And I, I really like Gonzalez, and I, and I want to pick him. I just can't. Uh, he's I, I can't see him winning this fight. So we're just gonna do a two times bet on Akhmadaliev uh, on the money line. There's no props, the, and the props on this would be difficult. If you guys find props, let me know. I'll try to guide you on that too. But again, on DraftKings, we only have the money line. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the boxing book in all forms of social media. Also uh, follow us on Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is December 12th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.